Yep. Okay. Sure. Yeah, it was fine because okay. cause there's, there's, you know, just just because you're a white collar, you know, yeah. doesn't mean that you don't like dogs. No, <laughs> you know, doesn't. so there's and they. Uh, it just seemed more central. Yeah, this, that's what the whole. That's one of the goals of of, um, of, because uh, because PAC because the friends of PAC is going to be partnering with TRN. Um, oh, they weren't already? Uh, well, Friends of PAC was not helping out with the, uh, with that more with the, uh, rent. They weren't helping out with the rent or anything like that uh-huh. or the bills or anything like that. But now Friends of PAC is. Okay. So... Um, they, uh, what they, what TRN wanted to do even before Pat got, uh, together with them was they wanted to, uh, get a place that was more East, you know, cause more we what? more East because oh. we, cause we have, cause Pac is way West, you know, yeah, it is. 
it's yeah. a trek to go over there. Yeah. But I imagine they're there because of the of the barking dogs all the time. Yeah. And they can't be right next to you know na in neighborhoods. No, but it's not it's not too bad though. No, it's not too yeah. bad. It's just because the thing about it is, is that space they got a lot of acreage out there i think a lot uh -huh. of space out there yeah. so they they have a little bit of buffer in between them and the next door neighbors yes. you know if the dog is definitely get a bark and yeah yeah really important yep, yep, yep. that's one thing we have to watch out a little bit for whenever we're you know, whenever we're in a central location like that, you know, is we got to watch out for dogs. We we can't get our dogs to be barking too much because yeah. you know it'll it'll it Do they bothers. Meet the dogs, the Tucson, the place over at uh, Swan and Grant. Do they leave dogs there overnight? No, no, they're they're thinking about it, but um, they they want to have they need to have somebody there, you yeah. know. Yeah, in case, alone. yeah, they don't know about vandalism. There's a lot of right issues that could come up, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a learning lesson, you know. Anyway, any places there's always ups and downs, you know. Certainly. Yeah. She is so fat she barely fits to the doggy door. Uh oh. She needs to lose weight. <laughs> All right. She really does. I only feed her once a day. Maybe I need good. to back on the food though. That's good though. That you sit down to, uh, and I don't give her any snacks. You know, I don't feed her people food. Right. That's good. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, because you're what you're doing is is having an effect on her because whenever i gave her that cow ear she gobbled that down like it was going out of style because <laughs> she's probably hungry she's well, probably she super hungry says, I, finished it. I only give her one of those a day but maybe i need to cut back even more maybe so yeah maybe three-fourths of a yeah. you know or something i don't know what to, well, it's not good to be obese. No, it's not. <laughs> How's everything going? 40 pounds, okay? Well, I'm getting older, Mom, and my shoulders, my shoulder, my right shoulder is starting to give out. Starting the cartilage, the cartilage is starting to. Have you talked to a doctor about it? No, we're gonna. Alejandro and I are gonna, yeah, gonna talk to my primary care physician, and then we'll get a referral to go see a, you know, physical somebody. Physical therapy or something. Yeah, physical therapy would be, would be the thing that I would want to do, definitely, because what I can do is I can exercise the muscles instead of the cartilage so use the muscles more see like you know when they say lift with your legs instead of your back right you know yes so you you in whenever they're saying that in essence what they're saying is lift with your muscles instead of lift them with your cartilage because you're using your cartilage in your back but you're using more of your muscles in your legs whenever you lift. Yeah, I lift a bag of dog, dog food, and boy, oh boy, it hurts. I mean, it still hurts. I can't do anything. It's really super sensitive. Mm hmm Yeah. So I'm hoping that they can get me on a, a, a workout routine where I can start strengthening my muscles, um, the specific muscles that will be needed so that I can bypass the use of my uh, shoulder cartilage. Yep. Well, it's 
supposed to take me to a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I don't drive anymore, John. Yeah. And uh, I don't even have a car anymore. Mm-hmm. No. Right. what I did for a while. You're a pretty girl. Yes, you are. You're a very pretty girl. Oh, and it's spoiled. That's okay. or something like that for oh, 33 oh. okay Thinking more like 32 would be a quart yeah Nova says whatever it is it's good enough for me mm. yes good Oh, there's this one channel that Ma, that Alejandra uh, watches. It's called Unsolved Mysteries, and it used to come in. It used to come on whenever I was in high school. I think it was uh, like late eighties. Yeah, you might be able to find it. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll help you out if I can. It's another detective show, so she enjoys it, though. HDMI one cost communication. Two songs at top box. Universal remote. Sounds like fun. Fun. <laughs> 
please don't buy it. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a, yeah. But I don't know if it's on Netflix with that guy, though. Yeah. Yeah, she watches the old one, the old, old Unsolved Mysteries. Unsolved Mysteries. Yeah, start off.